Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. What a lovely day. It must be lovely to be able to fly like a bird. I wonder how long it takes young birds to learn. I'll get my life jacket on. And all fastened up. Because today, I'm going along here to a place called Bidford. So, I'll get on my way. I'm going to Bidford, because my book says there's a place there where people can learn to fly. And I'd like to do that. Jim, Fiskog said we were going to go all the way down here to see flying. Rosie, yep. Fiskog said we're going to go all the way down there, down there. to see flying. He's got flying. He's <laughs> got. <laughs> 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 there, these will fly. Yeah. Rosie, huh? let's give one to Fishcock. <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> Come on. He's <laughs> 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 got <gone> flying. <laughs> 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 Just think, soon I'll be up there in the sky, gliding about just like those beautiful birds on their lovely wings. Oh, Jim, Fisco couldn't fly up there like those birds. No, Rosie. Yeah? But he doesn't have beautiful wings like they do, does he? No, and anyway, he's too big and too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> yeah? Fisco. Peace gargle will go. Whee! Splash into the river. <laughs> splash gargle, splash gargle. Splash gargle, splash gargle, gargle, gargle. Ah, here we are. Oh, look. Soon I'll be flying up there like that. <gasps> Did you hear that, Jim? Yeah, Rosie. Huh? He said flying. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Hmm, this looks like the right place. This is an airfield. People go flying from here. Oh, Jim! This 
Scott said this is where people can come and fly. Rosie? Yeah? He said this is an airfield. Airfield? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> come here, Rosie. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, I believe this is a place where you can learn to fly, is that right? That's correct. We can teach you to fly gliders here. You can teach me? I can teach you today. In a glider like this? Same as this. Um, you would sit in the front. Mm -hmm. The instructor would sit in the back. In fact, if you want to go flying, we'd, we can go in that one over there now. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jim! Jim! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this gog still thinks he's going to fly. <laughs> But there's no engine? Uh, no. We, um, to get them into the air, we tow them with an aeroplane which has an engine with a propeller. <laughs> Jim, yeah? that one over there hasn't got an engine. Yeah, and he said, Rosie, yeah? that this one here has got an engine. Jim? Yeah? What's an engine? Um... <gasps> oh, quick, get it! <laughs> right, first of all, I'll strap you in. Mm-hmm. There we are. Are yeah. you comfy now? Fine, right. thank you. Love it. Here we have the joystick. Mm -hmm. This controls mm -hmm. the glider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we have instruments which tells us the speed yeah. and tells us how high we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> Jim! He's squashing Fiskog into that thing. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? Fiskog still thinks he's going to fly. Oh! <laughs> 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 Rosie? Yeah? What's that man doing? I don't know. <gasps> What's happening? He's going brum, 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 it's brum, going brum, 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 Here we go. Here we are. Rosie? Yeah? Fizzgog still thinks he's gonna fly. <laughs> Fizzgog thinks he's gonna fly. <laughs> oh. What? Jim? What? Fizzgog is flying! <laughs> Fizzgog is flying, yeah. Rosie! He's flying up, up in the air! Sky! <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? Rosie? Yeah? I think we're flying! Yes, I know! Oh, we're high up! Rosie? Yeah? We've pulled him all the way up into the sky! <gasps> yeah! <laughs> oh, <it's gone. laughs> There's the river. There's there's the river down there, look. Oh, I can see the ragdoll down in the water. Right. Oh, yeah! Our boat, the ragdoll. A lovely, lovely duck. Feeling wizzy, feeling wishy, flying up in the sky. Feeling wizzy, feeling wishy, flying up in the sky. Jim, we've let Fizzgog go. And now he's flying like a bird all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> so the airplane's uh, leaving us now. Yeah? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. And now we're gliding. No engine now. Gliding like the birds now. Eh? Yeah. Landing. Yeah, and Fizzgog's coming down slowly like a big gliding bird with huge wings. Yeah. 
Quackies, quackies, quacky frogs. Oh, the fish frogs going. Come on, we flew in too long. Yeah, flew, flew. Oh, 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 well, thank you very much. That was great. I hope you enjoyed it. Come I again. did enjoy it very okay. much. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, are you ready, Duck? Good. Because the first thing anyone has to do when they fly is. Well, the foot you have. Oh. Um. Uh, what's, oh. Jim, what's the first thing Duck has to do? Um, well, the first thing you need to do, Duck, is flap your wings. <coughs> OK, good. One, two, <coughs> three, <coughs> flap! <laughs> flap, Duck, flap! Oh. Duck, you like flying, don't you? So, are you ready? Good. One, two, three, fly! Flap! Duck is whizzing, duck is whooshing, flying in the... Whee! Jim. You like flying, duck? Jim? Yeah? No, stop it! He likes it, Rosie! He doesn't! Do you want to go faster, duck? Jim, he's feeling sick! Oh, dear. <laughs> Quick, fish dog, Rosie. Oh, oh. Hello, Duck. Have you been learning to fly? I think you'll be better on the rag, though. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day... Rosie and Jim were going along on the good boat ragdoll when some birds flew over them. Oh, I do wish we could be birds, said Rosie, and fly up in the sky. Who did that, said Rosie? It was a wish, said Jim. They don't always come true, said Rosie. They swooped and flew over the trees and the river. Far below, they could see the rag doll. I'm hungry, said Jim. I wonder when we stop for dinner, said Rosie. Oop, said Jim. What was that, said Rosie? A fly, said Jim. A fly? I swallowed one, said Jim. Yuck, said Rosie. What about dinner? That was dinner, said Jim. What? That's what the other birds are eating, said Jim. I can smell something nice, said Rosie. Dinner on the rag doll, said Jim. Egg and chips. I want to be a rag doll again, said Rosie. And whiz, fizz, they were rag dolls. That's better, said Rosie. Now for dinner. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Rosie and Jim, 
Rosie and Jim and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book. The world drifts by the window frame. And Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. I'm just getting the ashes out of my stove. It won't burn properly with them in. And I've got a special poker to do it with. It's got a duck's head for a handle. Isn't that nice? The only thing is, it's got vent in the middle. I wonder how that happened. I don't know. Anyway. I'll give it a wash out in the river. Oh. oh, oh no! I've dropped my favourite poker in the river and it's gone to the bottom. I'll never get it out. Oh dear. Right, I've got my life jacket on and if I look in my book, I'm sure I'll find a place where I can find a new poker. Let's see. Yes, I'm going along here today. So, I'll get going. My book says that in Gloucester is a blacksmith, and that's good because he makes things out of iron like pokers. And I need a new poker, so perhaps he'll make one for me. Jim, Fizz Cook said that we were going to go all the way down here to find someone that can make things with iron. Jim? What? What are you doing, Noggin? I'm fishing. fishing. What for? For fish. Fishing. Oh. For fish. Oh. Rosie. Uh, Rosie. I think yeah. I've caught something. It's a bit heavy. Help. Oh, oh OK. Oh. He. Oh. He. That's not a fish. No, Jim. That is Fizz Dog's ducky poker, Rosie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There are so many things made of iron and steel. There's that bridge and the crane over there. They must be very, very strong. Jim, Fizzcock said 
that iron is very, very strong. Yeah. Well, if that's true, Jim, how come that Fizzgog's ducky poker is all bent? Oh, yeah. yeah. Rosie. Yeah? <gasps> Maybe a great big strong giant bent it. <gasps> oh! Oh, this looks like the place. This is where I can find the man who can make me a new poker. Oh, dear. Huh? Jim, did you hear that? Fizzgog said that he knows where the giant is. Oh, Rosie, I don't think I want to go to see a great big giant. Yeah, but, well, we have to, cos then he can straighten out Fizzgog's ducky poker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then Fizzgog won't need to buy a new ducky poker. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Oh, this is the place. Hello. Oh. I believe you make pokers here, is that right? Yes, we do, yeah. Well, yeah. I've done a silly thing, you know, cos I live on a boat and I've dropped my poker in the river. Oh, I've never found it. Fizzgog, we found a ducky poker! Fizzgog! Rosie? Yeah? Well, where's that great big giant? Um, I don't know. Come on, let's see. Yes, I've got, I've got this one which I've just made. It's a ram's head poker. My it's goodness. Out of fire. It's very hot, isn't it? Yes. Isn't and it's, it? a, it's a beautiful poker, but, well, what I'd really like would be a duck's head. Is that possible? <laughs> Head. Um, I'm not sure if we've got a duck's head in, but I'll go and look for you. Thank you very much. Now, what do we got here? Ah, oh, that looks like a duck's head. Yes, that'll do. <laughs> Rosie! Yeah? That man's found Fizz Dog's poker. Oh! You're in luck. I've got one here. I'm afraid it's a bit bent, though. Oh, my goodness me, that's perfect. It's just like the one I lost. But it is bent, isn't it? It is rather. But if you um, let me, I'll, I'll straighten it out in the fire oh, for you. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Right. <laughs> Rosie? Yes? It is the ducky poker that he lost. Yeah. <laughs> but he couldn't straighten Fizzgog's ducky poker. No. No. <laughs> What's happening here? First we get the fire nice and hot. Oh, I see. I suppose you have to be very careful with a hot fire like that, haven't you? You've got to be very careful with safety, as you wear with gloves and special goggles. Oh, yeah. With it. Mm. <gasps> Jim, they said that, that, oh, that, that is very, very hot. Oh, Rosie. Yeah? We must keep away from that very, very hot thing. Yeah, let us stay here. Yeah. Yeah. Rosie? Yeah. He's made Fizz Dog's iron poker go all fiery red. Yeah, and it's all hot and glowy. Glowy red? Yeah. Oh, is he straightening the poker now? Yeah, he's bringing it to the anvil now to straighten with the, with the oh. armor. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. he takes it over to the machine and he finishes off straightening it with that. <gasps> Jim! Well, the, the, that, the, the, that man! That well, the, man, yeah. Rosie, yeah. has straightened that ducky poker. Yes, he can straighten that ducky poker. Rosie? Yeah? The fire made it soft. My goodness me, that was hot, wasn't it? Yes, the water soon cools it down. He does a job to bend it now. Yeah, yeah. Here, John. Duck's head poker. Oh, wonderful! I think that's really beautiful. Even Great. better than the one I lost. Thank you very much. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. And he banged it, and he made a straight ducky poker. <laughs> Come on. Well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, John. I'm looking forward to having this on my boat. Goodbye, safe journey, John. Bye bye. Thank you. 
Put that on my head. Now I look like a big metal bending giant! Excuse Come me, on. Mrs. Big Strong Giant. Um, I'm Mrs. Big Strong Giant! What? Well, I've got a ducky poker, but it's got all bent. Could oh. you straighten it for me? Oh, dear. All right. Pass it over here. Oh, thank you. Bang, 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 and he bang. Straight it out as fast <laughs> as you can. Ding, dong, bang, and he bang. The hammer goes clang and the iron goes clang. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, Mrs. Giant. Mm. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Back oh, to my um, bed. To... Mrs. Giant. Mrs. Giant. What? Well, I've just got a few more other things that need bending. Oh, dear. OK, pass them over. Oh, thank you, you big, strong giant. <laughs> right, get my hammers out. Right. Bang, bang. Uh, clangity clang. Straighten it out as fast as you can. <laughs> Ding, dong, bangity bang. The hammer goes back to the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Make this go. Hello, Doc. I didn't know you could eat bananas. Anyway, have a nice dinner. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim came to some curly-whirly gates. I wonder who lives there, said Rosie. Let's go and see, said Jim. But the curly-whirly gates would not open. The sun came out and made everything hot. The curly-whirly gates began to uncurl. They're made of toffee, said Jim. Yum, yummy, said Rosie. They ate the toffee until there was a hole in the gate and they went into the garden. They came to a curly-whirly bridge over deep water. We can't walk on that, said Jim. It'll melt and drop us in the water. Oh, noggin, said Rosie. I want to see that house. A man came out of the house with a big hammer. Hello, he said. I'm the blacksmith. Do you want to walk on my bridge? We don't want to fall in the water, Noggin, said Rosie. My bridge is an iron bridge, said the blacksmith. It won't melt in the sun. Rosie and Jim walked across the bridge. He was right, said Rosie. But you can't eat it, said Jim. Gobbin, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The end. Jim! Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. Brrr, it's a chilly day, so I'll start with that. One. Chilly. Okay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Well, before I set off today, I'm going to finish making my jellies. I've got some jelly mixture here that I made a few minutes ago. And I think it's ready to pour now. I've got a lovely mould here. And if I pour my jelly mixture into it, the jelly will go the same shape as the mould. So, let's pour it in. I must be very careful because the jelly is very hot. Here we go. Fill it right up. Lovely. I'll leave that to set. But I've got another one over here that I made earlier, and I think this one is set. So let's see if I can get the mould off it. Here we go. Come on, jelly, out of your mould. Out you go. Oh, what a lovely wobbly jelly. I look forward to eating that later on. But just now, I'm going to get on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. That's it. And today, I'm going all the way along the canal, along here, to see if I can find something to make a story. And this section has a lot of locks in it, so I shall certainly need my windlass to get through them. I'll get the engine started and on the way. Looking forward to eating that jelly I've just made. Jim, Miss Cook said that we would go all the way down here to eat a jelly. <laughs> Rosie, yeah? you mean we're going to go all the way down there to eat a nice, yummy, wibbly wobbly jelly? Yeah, wobbly, wobbly jelly! Wobbly. <laughs> Those children are making shapes with moulds. But they're using sand instead of jelly. Let me see. Yeah. He's made a cat shape. Yeah. Rosie. Yeah. He used he used a shapey thing. Yeah. A shapey thing. Yeah, I think Fizzgog called called them moulds. Moulds? Yeah. yeah. He used a shapey mould. Yeah. Ah, there's a lot coming up. Hello, would you like a hand? Yes, please. You've got a lovely windlass, haven't you? We got this from the bus foundry over there. Oh, did you? 
I wouldn't mind getting one myself. I'm sure if you went there, they'd make one for you. Oh, that'd be lovely. I'd love one. Rosie? Yeah? That lady's widey, widey, widey thing is all shiny gold. Yeah, and poor Fizzcogs isn't all shiny gold no, like that. Poor Fizzcog. That's it. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, I need a spare windlass. And I would like one like that. I'd like to know how they're made as well. Right, here we are. And I'll take my old windlass with me. How do you do? How do you do? Is this the place where you make things out of brass? It is indeed, yeah. Well, I was just wondering, you see, I live on a boat and I use this windlass. And I saw somebody with a lovely brass one and wondered if you could make me one. Yes, I can't see any problem. Oh, so, good. Can you take a seat over there? Oh, please? thank you. Right, thank you. Oh, I shall need you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Right, thank you. I'll just take a mould from your windlass then. He was going to make a mould with it. Some sand for the face. Rub that through a sieve. Rosie? Yeah? That mould doesn't look like a jelly mould. No, it's made out of sand. <laughs> Rosie? Huh? He's not going to put jelly in that mould, is he? Yuck, I hope not. Then it will be all gritty jelly. Yeah. Oh. 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 Rosie, yeah? my jelly. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, oh, we stopped. And there's the finished mould of your windlass. I'm now going to pour some hot metal into your mould. It looks very hot. I'd keep back, John. <gasps> Jim, it's all big and hot and glowy. Rosie, it's all fiery hot. Yeah, but he said it was very hot. Yeah, keep away. It's a bit like pouring hot jelly into a jelly mould, isn't it? Yes, jelly goes into a jelly mould and brass goes into a brass mould. Ah, but the brass mould is made out of sand. There you are, John. I've made a new windlass for you. <gasps> Rosie? Yeah? Look at the shape. His mould has made. Yeah, a new wind, 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 windless process. <laughs> right, well, there's your casting. Oh, my goodness, it's really? quite, quite well, right? Really. Yes. I'll yeah. just go and polish it for you now. Right, oh, thank you. I'll okay. just sit down when you're doing that then. Jelly Duck. Well, there's no need to. You can come and watch. Oh, thank you. Jib, okay. Jib. Oh, oh. What, what are you doing? Uh, Rosie. <laughs> Apple wibbly wobbly. <laughs> yep. Okay then, John. There's a nice shiny windlass for you. Lovely. Thank you very much. It is shiny, isn't it, compared to my old one? Yes. Very I much. see the moulds made them both the same shape, hasn't it? Yes, that was genuine. Lovely. Look, look, Jelly Jim. There's a brand new shiny windlass. Oh yeah, Rosie. Wah 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 wah. Oh, oh. Quacking his wobbly sock. 
is Gog's going? We've wobbled too long, Jim. Come on. <laughs> How much do I owe you for that? Nothing at all. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, Thank you very much. Very nice Thank of you. Bye-bye. Jim, look at this. This nice jelly for Fizzgog. <laughs> it's not like yours all smidgy, slushy. <laughs> and your jelly doesn't wobble. Rosie, yeah? my jelly doesn't wobble, huh? but I do. <laughs> <laughs> wibbly wobbly jelly jib, wibbly wobbly jib, wobbly arms and wobbly head, wibbly jelly jib. <laughs> Rosie, yeah? I can't stop wobbly. I'll help you take my hand. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, no, jib, we're both wobbling now. Wibbly, wobbly, jelly ass, wobbly, Rosie and Jim. Wobbly heads and wobbly arms, wibbly, wobbly, Rosie and Jim. <laughs> With a wibble wobble here, <laughs> and a wobble wobble there. <laughs> wibbly, wobbly, Rosie and Jim. Wibbly, wobbly ass. <laughs> oh no! Look what I've done to Fizzgog's jelly! Rosie? Yeah? I think they'll be alright if, if they're in their moulds. Yes, let's put them back yeah, in their moulds. Put it back in their moulds. <laughs> 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 Jellies all safe back in their jelly bowl. Yeah. Quick. Oh, let's go. Oh, what's happened to my jellies? Oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, what a mess. Never mind. I'll clean them up later. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One chilly day, Rosie and Jim were in the kitchen of the Good Boat Ragdoll when Rosie said, let's make a jelly. All right, said Jim. Let's make a jelly cat, said Rosie. The jelly cat jumped out of the mould and said, Meow! It's alive, said Jim. It wants a friend, said Rosie. They made another jelly cat. The jelly cat said, Meow! Meow! They want something to play with, said Jim. They made two jelly mice. The jelly cats chased the jelly mice. They want somewhere to play, said Rosie. So Rosie and Jim made jelly trees and jelly grass and jelly fields. The jelly cats and the jelly mice chased each other faster and faster. They got hotter and hotter. At last, they all melted away. All that was left was a jelly puddle. Rosie and Jim broke their plates. They scooped up some jelly and had a feast. Mmm, lovely, said Jim. Mmm, lovely, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The End Jim! Rose!
Jersey. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim flooring book, the world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life and I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day, and then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Well, I'll get my life jacket fastened first. That's it. And today I'm going along the canal, along this way, to see some very special horses. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Before boats like mine had engines to make them go, people used to have big, strong horses to pull them along. They call them shire horses. And that's the kind of horses I'm going to see today. Jim, Fiskog said that we were going to go all the way down here to see some big, strong horses. Yeah, all the way down there, Rosie, yeah. to see some great, Big, strong, shire horses, he <laughs> said. Ah, he's not riding a big horse. He's riding a small pony. Oh, small pony, Rosie. <laughs> I've got my small pony now. Hmm, <laughs> now she is riding a big horse. I think it must be a Shire horse. I must be nearly there. Rosie, I can see great big horse. Yeah, but look at my big horse. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> I wonder which way that horse went. I think I'll see if I can catch them up. Jim, my horse will get there faster than yours because your horse is only a pony. My pony, Rosie, mm? is faster than your horse. No, I'll beat you there. You clip, won't. Clip, 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 clip. Good morning. Hello. Is this one of the Shire horses? That's right, this is Viscount. He's a big one, isn't he? He's our largest horse at the moment. Oh, he's, is he? Uh, he's 11 years old and fully grown. Uh -huh. Hopefully he won't grow any bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, a Shire horse! Rosie, yeah? he said that 
that Shire horse was called Vi. Vi. Vi Count. Vi Count. Hello, Vi Count. Well, it looks to be having a very special hairdo today. That's right. I'm, I'm plaiting wool and ribbons into his mane. Mm -hmm. It's something we do on, on bank holidays and occasions like Easter time, just to decorate the horse and, and show him off to the public. Yes, yeah. Rosie. Yeah? What does plaiting mean? Um, I think it's what that man's doing with all that wool and ribbon. Woolly, woolly, woo. <laughs> Rosie. Yeah? He's making my cow look all nice with that plaiting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <gasps> Rosie? Yeah? Little Pony? What's your name, Little Pony? <gasps> She's called Tammy, Rosie. <gasps> Tammy? Hello, Would Tammy. you like to look as nice as that Shire horse over there? Yeah. Would you like to look nice like Viscount? Are you going to have another comb out now? That's right. Now we've finished the plaid, take all the tangles out of the mane. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's looking very nice and tidy now. <laughs> ah, that's better just want the comb again. Oh, it's gone. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's strange. There's just the brush here. And you, is that? Oh, I'll, I'll make do with that for the time being. Thank you. What would you like? I've got a comb here. <laughs> Now, there. You better go and get me one. Does he like being brushed? He does usually, but you've got to brush fairly hard because it does uh, tickle him. The small bristles on the brush. Oh yes, I can imagine. Makes him nice and shiny, though, doesn't it? It does. Makes him look nice and healthy. Hmm. Looks really nice now. Ah, oh, there's a comb back again. Oh, goodness me. Where that went to? No. Brush for Rosie. And nice ribbons. <laughs> Is that count ready now? Just about. And then we're going to put him in the cart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just wants another little brush. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, brush is gone. Oh, strange. Um, the only thing is going on today. Yeah. Never mind. We'll just take him as he is. Yeah. Good lad. Walk on. <laughs> there, Jim. Now, Tammy looks all nice, too. Yeah, Tammy's all nice and looks like Viscount Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put him in the car, Tammy. Rosie, hide in this thing. What? In here? Yeah, hide in this thing, quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, John. Right, oh, thank you. Right, we'll go then. Back out. Walk on, my lad. Little pony, it's going faster than this big horse. Well, I never. It's overtaking us on the way back. Come on, Viscount, cheer up. Come on. Rosie? Yeah? She's going faster than this dog. Yeah? Hooray! Well done, Tammy. <laughs> Hooray! We did it, Jim. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Steady. Wait. We still. Wow. 
<laughs> Rosie? Yeah? Duckies, quackies, quacky song. <gasps> this cock's going. We played too long. Come on, Jim. Well, thank you very much. It's all right. It's a pleasure. Very good ride. It's all right. Miss Viscount has done all the work. Oh, well, thank you to Viscount as well. Bye bye. Ta da. There. Are you ready, horse duck? <laughs> Walk on, boy. There. This is the way I drive my cart. Quackety chop, quackety chop. This is the way I drive my cart. Quack, chop, quack. Jim, can I have a go now? Um, Rosie. Yeah? You won't go too fast, will you? No, no, I won't. That doesn't like going too fast. No, I won't go too fast. Right, ready, duck horse? <laughs> this is the way I drive our car. Quackety clock, quackety clock. This is the way I drive our car. Quackety clock, quackety clock, quackety clock, quackety clock. Where is it? going too fast. Oh. Duck doesn't like going fast like that. He likes going like this, don't you, Duck horse? Mm. Like this. This is the way we drive our car. Quackety clock. This is the way we drive our car. Quack, clock, quack. Jim, can I have another go? Um, Rosie. Yeah? You won't go too fast this time. No. All right, then. Okay, thank you. Right. This is the way I drive our car. Quackety clock, quackety clock. This is the way I drive our car. Quackety clock, quackety clock. <laughs> oh, hello, Duck. Are you playing at being a Shire horse? Very nice. <coughs> That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim went for a walk. I'm tired, said Jim. We've walked too far, said Rosie. But we must go back to the rag doll, said Jim, or we'll have nowhere to sleep tonight. It's too far, said Rosie. My legs won't go. A girl trotted by on a brown pony. That's a good idea, said Rosie. They saw a horse in a field. Will you give us a ride home, said Rosie and Jim. Yes, said the horse, if you'll bring me some oats for my dinner. Rosie went to find some oats for the horse's dinner. I had to walk miles, said Rosie. And please bring me a good drink of water, said the horse. Jim went to find some water for the horse. I never knew that water was so heavy, said Jim. The horse ate its oats and drank its water. Lovely, it said. Jump on and we'll trot home. It's better than walking, said Rosie. It's nice to be home, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The end.
Welcome to the world of children's videos. It's video collection's special favourites for our young audience. Beginning with the adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine and friends. Hurry up, Thomas. Life on the island of Sodor can be very busy, but the engines enjoy their work on the railway. Sometimes the adventures Thomas has with his friends land them in trouble. Boxes and bags burst everywhere. Oh! Grown Percy. Careful, Thomas! Called his driver, but it was too late. Thomas came off the rails and Percy sunk. Ow! exclaimed Percy. So join Thomas, Percy, James, Toby, Gordon, and the Fat Controller for lots of Thomas the Tank Engine adventures. From trains to canal boats, it's that troublesome twosome Rosie and Jim. Come aboard the ragdoll with John, Jim, and of course Rosie, as they cruise into all sorts of tangles. <laughs> oh no, what would John say? And they meet all sorts of creatures. Excuse me, are you a monster? Even John faces one or two problems. But it's all great fun for Rosie and Jim. Say bonjour to Tot TV. I'm a Tot. Je suis une Tot TV. Tot and Tiny. We're the Tots of Tot TV. One, two, three, go. I didn't say go. I'm yeah. a Tot. Tiny Tilly and Tom like to try fun new games and make fun new things. One, two, three, go. I'm a Tot. Just using Tot TV. Oh, Tom. And sometimes the things they do don't go quite as planned. <laughs> So join those three on Tots TV. And when it comes to mischief, there's only one place to be, with Ratty, Toad and Mole in the classic story of Wind in the Willows. He's on the open road. Rambling where you please, on the open road. <laughs> but what happens when Toad goes too far? Found guilty on the clearest evidence. Nineteen years. Nineteen years? And another year for being green. Twenty years. And the weasels take over. <laughs> out in the exciting adventures of the wind in the willows yes it certainly is a children's world with so many great video stories to choose from Rosie and Jim, 
Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. I'll get my life jacket on. That's better. And today, I'm going along the river to a place called Stratford upon Avon. Stratford's a famous place for stories and plays. Jim, he said we were going to go all the way down there to a story place. Rosie? Yeah? All down there to a, um, story place? <laughs> yeah, that's oh, what he said. Goody, I love stories. Yeah. <laughs> there are lots of ways of telling stories. Look at those people on their boat. They're watching television. You can read a story in a book, or you can watch it on television. Like the people in that boat. The people on television, they tell a story by playing pretend. Ooh. Jim? Uh, yeah, there's a pretend story on that television. Meow. Oh, <laughs> meow. <laughs> Rosie? Yes? Guess which story? I'm going to pretend to be it. I don't know, Nuggin! <laughs> I'm going to be... Meow, meow. <laughs> I'm going to be Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, Nuggin, where are your boots? Oh, Rosie? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can just pretend I've got boots on. They're playing pretend with their toys. I wonder what their story's about. Rosie? Yeah? <laughs> I know what that story is. Yeah. Yeah, Rosie. Huh? Those teddies are the three bears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that dolly is Goldilocks. Three bears and Goldilocks. Yes. <laughs> What do you want to pretend to be, Rosie? I'm going to pretend to be the three bears. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, there's the Swan Theatre. And outside, there's a man setting up a little theatre. I think I'll stop here. Rosie? Uh-huh. He, he said that place is a... Theatre? Oh, yeah. And that theatre place is where they play Let's Pretend. <sighs> My goodness, it's a long time since I've seen a puppet show. I think I'll go and have a look. It should be fun. Yeah? He stopped 
now? Oh, yes. And Jim Fizzgook said it would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up we go. <laughs> would you like me to do a wheelie on the bike? Yeah! Hmm, they seem to be enjoying themselves over there. I'll go and have a look. Mm. Well. Rosie? Yeah? What's going on over there? Um, Fizzgog said it was a show. A show? Yeah. Let's go and see. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to see me do a backwards wheelie as well? Yeah! Come on, water back. We're going to show them how to do a backwards wheelie. Here we go. <laughs> oh, evil can evil eat your heart out. Anyway, I can't stand round chatting to you. Is that a television? Uh, I don't think so, because he said it was a show. A puppy show? What can I use to catch a lion, eh? Cage! Cage! A net or a cage? Well, I'll just nip round to my mum's kitchen and she'll see if she's got a net or, or a cage I can use. I won't be long. Oh, and while I'm away, you lot, you keep an eye on the omelette for me, all right? Mmm, I wonder where it is, where's that omelette? I do like omelette. There it is. I'm going to have that omelette. <laughs> I got the omelette, I got the omelette. He's eating the omelette. Oh, is he? The omelette. He's eating his omelette. Where's the omelette gone? Where's the omelette gone? You had it. No, you had it. Why didn't you tell me? We did tell you. I don't believe you. There's no lion over there. So you stop playing games with me. What? Now there's no lion there. Look. There's no lion there. There! There he is! Now, you're, you're playing games with me, you lot, huh? You're playing games. Oh, there is a lion. I'm going to get you, lion. Got ya, miss, miss. I'm going to get you. Got ya, miss, miss. I'm going to get miss. Oh, you didn't miss. No, I didn't miss. Got him, Rosie. Now then, uh, I'll tell you what, look, I'll take the net off you, off you there, right? Yeah, all right. And I'll go and put this away, right? Right. And then I'll tell you what I want you to do. Now, you're going to rule. Oh, rule. Well, like this. <gasps> no, not like that. This lot out here could rule better. Show him how to roar. <laughs> Oh, Elvis, where's he gone, the stupid? That was great. Where'd you go, Elvis? Come here. Oh, no, no. They frightened me. Come over Rosie, here. Come over Rosie, I here. didn't like that roaring noise. Never mind, Jim. You come and have a look at this. What? Come on. See, Jim, I told you there was a man in there. Oh, yeah. Rosie? Yeah? I can see his legs. Yeah. <laughs> What big eyes you've got. Oh. Oh, ain't that nice? Grandma said I've got big eyes. Oh. He's playing pretend. Yeah. And Major must have suddenly shown us a blue skidlet. Thank you. Hello. Hello there. That was a really wonderful show. Thanks very much indeed. It was wonderful. Great. It's just another way of telling a story, isn't it? It's an excellent way of telling a story and a different way of telling a story to perhaps the usual ones that you find. Yeah, but it's a kind of playing pretend, isn't it? Rosie. <laughs> yeah? Look, it's Lion. Oh, yeah. And look, there's Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Yeah, and Skidlin. Oh, what I call hand puppets or glove puppets. Oh, and yes. they, yeah. the head of the puppet sits on my hand like that. Mm -hmm. And then my yeah. fingers become the puppet's arms, and I wave them around oh, like that. I see. So two, I put two fingers into the head and then move the puppet around like oh, that. That's insane. So it can clap its, uh, clap its hands like that. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Incredible. And yeah. if you have two of them, they can shake hands. I know. Did you hear something? I, well, I thought it did, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, that's, something. you know, so you can... Yeah. buy lion gonna eat your omelette. Oh, no, you're not. Ra, ra, ra. Oh, no. Ra, oh, no. Ra, ra, ra. Well, it was very enjoyable. I look forward to seeing it again. 
Thank you very Another much day. indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Oh, if I put this hat on, there. Now I'm little blue skid lid. Now what am I going to have to eat today? A hat. A yummy biscuit. What, duck? No, I haven't got a biscuit for you. No. Uh, where's my biscuit gone? I've lost my biscuit. Where has it gone? Where? <laughs> Where? Where? Where is it? Where? <laughs> now it's nearly in my tummy. You naughty lion. Don't you eat my biscuit ever again. Yeah, don't eat her yeah. biscuit. No, he says he oh, won't, Rosie. Good. Now, oh dear, what else have I got to eat? There. <sighs> Yummy sausages. What, <coughs> duck? Yeah, sausages are my favourite too. They are, because I eat them with some potatoes. Yeah, sausage. <coughs> oh, I've lost my hat and I've lost my sausages. <laughs> I've lost my hat and sausages. Where have they gone? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Mm -hmm. Oh, Duck, where are my sausages? Down there nearly in my tummy. They're yes, not. they are. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now Duck has got our sausages. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Quick, Rosie. Yeah. If these dogs come in... Yeah, come on! <laughs> well, that was another way to tell a story, wasn't it? Now I'm going to do it my way. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were going along on the good boat ranked home when they saw a granny on a motorbike. Are you coming to the show? said the granny. Oh, yes, said Rosie and Jim. Race you there, said the granny. Hey, that's not fair, said Jim. Wait for us, cried Rosie. They hurried along to the show. Help, shouted Jim, there's a lion. It's all right, said the granny. It's only playing pretend. Look. She put her head inside the lion's mouth. The lion said, Brrr. You're supposed to say roar, said Rosie. Roar. Take no notice, said the granny. He'll never hurt anyone. Let's have lunch. What is for lunch, said Jim. Omelette, said granny. If the lion hasn't eaten it. No one can eat it, said Jim. The omelette's playing pretend as well, said Rosie. Let's go back to the rag doll, said Jim, for beans on toast. Good idea, said Rosie, if they're not playing pretend. Um. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The end. Jim! Rosie! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wow. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John P. writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day, and then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. I'm going to eat my egg as I go, because I need to be on my way. I'll put my life jacket on first. That's it. Let's have a taste. Mmm. I love eggs, don't you? Delicious. I'd better get the engine started. Have you ever wondered where eggs come from? I think I'll find out today. Sis Cook said that we were going to go all the way down here to find out where eggs come from. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? You mean we're going all down there just to find out where eggs come from? <laughs> yeah, what a <laughs> noggin. They come from the shop, don't yeah. they, Jim? <laughs> His dog's got no eggs. Oh, dear. I wonder when these ducks will lay their eggs. I don't suppose my wooden duck can lay an egg. Of course, my egg's not a duck's egg. It's a chicken's egg. What have ducks got to do with eggs, Jim? <laughs> don't know, Rosie. Oh. oh. Rosie? Yeah? I think our duck wants an egg. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. Where's my egg gone? Strange, isn't it? Yeah? Maybe Duck wants his very own new egg. Yeah, I know. Let's find Ducky an egg. Yeah, find Ducky a new egg. egg. Ducky find a new egg. Mmm, that's going to be a lovely cake. Mmm, lovely. Rosie, yeah? he's breaking those eggs. Yes, the Smashing them all up into little pieces. Yeah. Smash, 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 smash. smash. smash, 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 smash. <laughs> oh, look over there. There's an egg and spoon race. I wonder who's going to win. Oh, my goodness, somebody's dropped their egg. Rosie? Yeah? <laughs> that one isn't running anymore. No. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. Big. Hooray! Hooray! Run away. I'm taking my bag with me because I want to get some eggs. 
You know, my fridge is nearly empty again. Rosie? Yeah? Follow fish dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, come on. <laughs> My goodness, what a lot of chickens. There must be hundreds and hundreds of birds in there. I've never seen so many all together at once. Oh, roses. Look, birds. Chickens, actually, Nuggin. That's what Fizzy Gug said. Oh, roses? Yeah. Those, those chickens must be birds, then, like, like... And, um, uh, and sparrows. sparrows. Yeah. Of course, these are free-range chickens. That means they've got room to walk about and scratch and peck at the ground. Excuse me, are you a Mrs. Chicken or a Mr. Chicken? Oh, you're all Mrs. Chickens. Hello. Hello. You've got a lot of chickens here, haven't you? We have, you? lots and lots. My goodness me. Are you collecting the eggs now? Yes, I am. Ah, I see. They each lay an egg a day. An egg a day? That sounds like a lot of eggs. It's a lot of eggs. Yes. And I fill up this tray with them. So are the chickens in there laying the eggs? They are. The chicken sits in the nest and lays her egg, and it rolls down here. Oh. Where did the egg come from? Do they go inside to eat and sleep? Yes, they do. They go up this little ramp and through the pop holes to eat and drink and sleep at night. Oh, I see. All those little chickens go in and they go to sleep. They keep, they keep saying eggs and things. What have you got to do with eggs? So that's silly. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. <gasps> lots and lots of eggs. Yes, Nugget, come and see. <laughs> oh, this one's warm. Must be a new one. All right, that's my tray full. Have me. See, I told you. Rosie? Yeah? You mean that egg just came out of a chicken? Yeah. <laughs> it did, Nugget. And, and you know what? What? The egg, well, oh. The egg is still warm from the chicken. A warm egg just came out of a chicken. Yeah. This is where the eggs are sorted into large and small mm -hmm. and put in half dozen packs. Oh, I see. So, oh, the large ones are here and the small ones up there. That's right. Yeah. Oh. After that, the eggs get taken to the shops for people to buy. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Rosie? Yeah? What does large and small eggs mean? Uh, big and little eggs, Nugget. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>, big eggs. <laughs> Rosie, those eggs are just like, just like the ones you find in shops. What eggs, Nugget? <laughs> <laughs> those eggs, you Nugget. Yeah, and those eggs are from the Chickens. Yeah, from our friends the chickens. Yeah. Well, I think I'll go to the shop and buy some myself now. Very Thank good. you for showing me around. It's been very interesting. It's a Thank pleasure. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Good. Could I have some eggs, please? Large or small? I'd like six large ones, please. Half a dozen? Sure. Thank you. Rosie? Yeah? Those eggs are the ones you buy at a shop. Yeah, <laughs> so shop eggs do come from chickens. Yeah, chickens. <laughs> please, please, 
lay me an egg, lay an egg for doggy. Please, please lay me an egg. An egg would make them happy. Oh! <laughs> Jim! The chicken has laid an orange. Oh, no! You'll have to try again. Please, please lay me an egg. Lay an egg for Ducky. Please, please lay me an egg. An egg would make the happy. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> Jim, she's laid an egg box. A Jim. It's an empty egg box as well. Oh, no. Will you try again, please, Mrs. Chicken? Thank you. Please, please, lay me an egg. Lay an egg for Donkey. Please, please, lay me an egg. An egg would make the happy. Oh! <laughs> Jim! She did it! She did it! She did it! <laughs> She laid an egg for Ducky! An egg for Ducky. <laughs> really? Yeah. <coughs> See, Fizz Dog, wooden ducks can have eggs. Yeah, they can. <gasps> Quick, Fizz Dog. Fizz Dog. Oh. Hmm. Maybe wooden ducks can lay eggs after all. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim met a hen. <coughs> said the hen. Can we help, said Rosie. I'm laying, said the hen. The table for tea, said Jim. We're good at that, said Rosie. Come on, Jim. Rosie and Jim whizzed about. They brought a cloth, knives, forks, spoons, plates, cups and salt. Ready, said Rosie. No, said the hen. I'm not laying the table for tea. I'm laying an egg. How do you do that, said Jim. EJ said the hen. Just watch. Here it comes. The egg popped out of the hen. She kept it warm. They waited to see. It went tap, tap. A chicken came out of it. Lovely, said Rosie. The chicken soon fluffed up its feathers and said it was hungry. Time for tea, said Jim. Cheese sandwiches, said Rosie. And tomatoes, said Jim. My chick likes to peck corn in the grass, said the hen. Took in, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The end. Jim! Rosie! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, hands on his steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by 
with the window frame And Rosie and Jim we play our games Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John You saw me steering the boat just now But that's not my real job my real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. a good book. Well, I'd better get my life jacket fastened up, hadn't I? This isn't my book. I borrowed it from the library. And it's got a label inside that says I have to return it today, so I'd better be on my way. I have something else to do at the library. I'm going to read one of my stories to some of the children who go there. Jim, Fizzgook said that we were going to go all the way down here to read a story. Huh? What? Jim, Fizzgook said we were going to go all the way down here to read a story. Oh, I like stories, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, you know, when somebody really gets into a good book, they don't hear what people say to them. Jim, look, she's reading a book. Jim? Jim, come on, Noggin. Look, that girl's reading a book. Jim? Jim? Oh, no good. Hello. Oh, Duck, look at that lady. Duck. Duck! Look. Everybody is reading all day today. You're going to read, and Jim's going to read, then I will. Ah, this is the place where the library is. Right, I'll take my books back to the library now. <gasps> Come on, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, come on! Reading, reading all the time. Come in. Oh, good. Here's the library. I think I must be early. The 
Good morning. Ah, oh, John, you're bright and early. Yes, well, I thought I'd come early to change my books before the children come for their stories. Good idea. So, here we are. Those Thank are the you. ones I've read, and there's right. my ticket. Thank you. Thank you. And there's your ticket back, John. Go and choose some more. Thank you. Choose another book. Rosie, Fizzgog's got lots of books at home, though. Why does he need... Why does... Then Rosie... The monkey shouted to the hook. Certainly. Would you like to pass me your books, please, Rebecca? Thank you. <laughs> one for me and one for Duck. <laughs> Cheerio, then. See you Thank next you. time. Here we go. I've got some nice done. books. Oh, that's a lovely one, jo oh, John. John and Ducks. Very good, because oh. you live on a boat. I don't remember picking one of the books. Still, it looks very nice, so yes, I'd like to take that. Right. Seems to have more books than I think, so no. <laughs> yeah. Now we got books too. <laughs> yes, but Fizzgog hasn't paid for them yet. Rosie, yeah. he's not buying those books. Oh. He's just borrowing right. them for a little while. Thank you. Oh, does that mean that he has to bring them back when he's finished reading them? Yeah, that's oh. what you do in libraries, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, do you know who I am? Yes, I'm John, and do you know where I live? On I, the boat. I live on a boat, and I've got two special people on my boat. Do you know Rosie who they are? Rosie and Jim, and I've got Duck, who sits on top of the boat as well. And I'm going to tell you a story about them. Rosie and Jim were going along on the old rag doll on a wet day on the old canal. And what did they come to? They came to a big pair of gates. How can we get through that, said Rosie. I don't know, said Jim. Quack, 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 said Duck. You've got to say the magic spell. I wonder if Rosie knows the magic spell. <laughs> Abracadabra, super glue. Open the gates and let us through. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Hmm. Don't know who said that. Is it you? Good. The boat went through. And the water went swoosh, gurgle, squiggle, squish. Hello. Hello, Rosie and Jim. What's your name? My mm. name's Alice. 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 Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <gasps> Alice, you know can I have a look at your book? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, there's you. Rosie? Yeah? There's you. <laughs> And there's Fizzcog. And Duck Rosie. Yeah. Rosie. Yeah. Quick, Fizzcog's nearly finishing his story, Alice. Oh, oh yeah. Bye. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye, Rosie and Jim. Until now, Rosie and Jim could go away, right along the canal, all the way to Birmingham. And they said, goodbye, Water Wizard. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. And it's time for me to say goodbye as well. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, that's quick. Quick, Rosie. Yeah, I'm coming. Thanks for the books. Bye, so John. Bye -bye. See you again. Bye. Bye. Choose a book. 
choose a book. Which book shall I choose? This one's nice and so is this. Or oh, which one shall I choose? Oh dear. Um, I think I'll have these ones. Pa, 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 pa. Mr. <laughs> Librarian. Oh, hello, Mrs. Lady. Hello. I'd like these books, please. Right then. Uh, one book. One book. Beep, 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 beep. Add uh, two books. Two books. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lady. Yeah? You're only allowed two books at one time. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, have this one next time. OK. Bye-bye. <laughs> choose a book. Choose a book. Which ones shall I choose? This one's nice and so is this. So which one shall I choose? Excuse me, Mrs. Lady. Hello. I thought I said last time yeah. that you only allowed two books. One. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Two. two books. Yeah. Now, you will remember, only two books. Yeah. Only two. Yeah. Only two. Yeah. Choose a book. La, da, 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 da. I said. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I know. I'll have these two. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, fish dog's coming. My goodness. My duck has a lot of books, hasn't he? Well, everybody's been enjoying books today, haven't they? That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie was reading a story to Jim. That's magic, said Jim. What, said Rosie? Making all those squiggly wiggly things into a story, said Jim. Oh, you can do it, said Rosie. Where, said Jim. Guess, said Rosie. A wizard's castle, said Jim. Somewhere easier to find, said Rosie. Hmm, said Jim. What about a shop? A shop full of books. Hmm, nice pictures, said Jim. But I haven't got enough money to buy a book today. Never mind, said Rosie. Where else can we go, said Jim. Guess, said Rosie. I give in, said Jim. A library, said Rosie. Do you need any money, said Jim. No, said Rosie. I've found a good book, said Jim. Good, said Rosie. I'll show you how to read it. Great, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag, Jim's drawing book, 
The world drifts by the window frame And Rosie and Jim, we play our games Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John, he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John you saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. And today, I'm going along the River Severn to Worcester, all the way along here. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Ooh, my poor old feet, they're really hurting. It's these old shoes of mine. I'm glad I'm not walking all the way to Worcester. I think I'll buy myself a new pair of shoes in Worcester. There's sure to be a shoe shop there. Jim, his book said we were going to go all the way down here to a shoe place. Rosie? Huh? All down there, then? Mm. To, a, to a great big shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Oh, look at those children trying to tie up their shoelaces. It's quite difficult to tie shoelaces, isn't it? Oh, come on, done if you don't do it properly. You have to tie them up with a good, strong bow. Oh, good, strong bow. I see. Oh, <laughs> Jim, what are you doing? I'm trying to tie, Rosie, my nice new shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doggin, you're not doing a very good job, are you? Um, let me help. Now, what you need to do is uh, get oh, this lace here uh, no. bring it round there Rosie, like that. That bit goes round, round there in, in a little hole thing. Oh, Doggin, I can't do it. Do it myself, then. My goodness, look at that roller skater. That looks fun. Oh, I wish I could do that. I think I'd fall over if I put roller skates on. <laughs> look, Jim, Rizzy Wheelie Shoes. He's washing along. Rosie, huh? I could whiz like that. No, you couldn't, Noggin, could. because the shoes would go whoosh and you'd go bonk. <laughs> they wouldn't, Rosie. You would. I <laughs> he won't, I know, Duck. He won't be able to do it. <laughs> Rosie! Yeah? Rosie, guess what I've done? You haven't. I have. You haven't. I have, Rosie. <laughs> Look. Look <laughs> you clever little thing. What a lovely bird. Rosie, yeah? I tie my very own bow. Yeah, let's have a look at the other one, dear. I've done the Where's other one. the other one? Where? 
right, I'm off to buy my new pair of shoes now. <laughs> Who's he, eh? Fellow fish dog. Yeah, come on. Lots of shoes. <laughs> Sandals, trainers, boots, walking up and down. Tippity tappity go that beat all about the town. Brown and black and green and blue to fit upon your feet. Keep your toes all safe from harm and make them look quite neat. <laughs> oh, here's a shoe shop. I'll just pop in and see if I can get a pair of shoes. Oh, there are some nice shoes here. These look comfortable. Ooh, I like these ones. These are really nice. But I've got two feet and there's only one shoe, so I need a pair. I better go and find the other one to go with it. Jim, I thought there were supposed to be two shoes. Yeah. Well, yeah. see. Yeah? Wonder where the other one is. I don't know. Can I help you, sir? Oh, thank you. Um, well, I'm looking for a really comfortable pair of shoes, and I've picked this one. Could I try them, please? Yes, certainly. What size? Uh, Twelve. <gasps> Jim! New shoes for Fizzgog! Yeah, new shoes. Rosie? Yeah? Will you get a pair of shoes? Um, I don't know, Nugget. Let's see. Yes, come on. <laughs> You look as if you're busy there. What are you doing? I'm measuring his feet. Ah, I see. Your shoes, sir. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. I'll try that. Would you just excuse me for a moment? Certainly, of course. Okay. I'd like to lace that up, Steve. Very good at time. Oh, Jim. He can do his laces up. I can do mine too, Rosie. Yeah, but he can do his first time. Mm. <laughs> How are they, sir? I think they're a little bit too tight, actually. Shall I fetch the next size? Mm, thank you. That'd be a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Let's help him find some nice shoes. Yes. One nice shoe for fish. Yeah, one Gosh. shoe. And <laughs> two nice shoes for fish. Yeah, they'll get the lid. Sir? Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Spawn, can you help me a moment, please? Would you excuse me for a moment? Certainly. Thank you. Have you decided which shoes you want? Yes. So have I. I've got some lovely ones. I'm going to try them on. I like yours. Really smart, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Do you like mine? I think you know. Eh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> elephants. How did I get those? I don't know. I don't either. Hey, sir. Oh, not quite right, I'm afraid. Oh, goodness, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? I don't think Fisco like those shoes. No, I don't. These should feel better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fisco's old shoes. Yes, yes, those look nice. Rosie? <laughs> yes, that, that feels fine. Yeah. Thank you. Really comfortable. Where is he? Yeah. These dogs feet like those new shoes. Too. <laughs> yeah, he said they're comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I put your old shoes in a bag? Yes, I think I'll keep these on. Oh, but where are my old shoes? Oh. oh that's odd. They've gone. Where can they be? Oh, how strange. My shoes have gone up the street. I'll never catch them now. Oh, dear me. Where are... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you for you. helping me. Bye. 
Okay, Rosie, yeah. let's make pears. Okay. Right, the first thing you have to find is oh, this gold smelly old shoe. <laughs> okay. Is. Rosie, is that's not a pear. Oh, okay. <laughs> is. Oh, that's it. Yeah, Rosie, that is it. There we go. One. Two, a pair of, of shoes. shoes. And next thing is... Oh, Rosie, is this your smelly old sock? No, it is not, Noggin. <laughs> Find a pair to that. Right, another <laughs> sock. Um, is this it? Rosie, that's not a pair. Is this it? Yes. There. Three, four, that's one, one pair more. more. And the next thing is bricks, Rosie. Find a brick. Um, Find a pair. Is... Oh, yeah. That's a brick. Yep. Five, six, a pair of bricks. Yeah. And last thing is, Rosie, plate. Go plate, on, find a plate. Plate, plate, plate. 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 Oh, there. Yeah. Seven, eight, a pair of plates. Yeah. Oh, Rosie. Yeah? I can see one pair more. Where, Noggin? <laughs> one, Jim. And one, Rosie. There's a pair of Noggins. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, I've got a lovely new pair of shoes, but you know, I do wonder where my old shoes have gone. Oh, they're there. How did they get there? Oh, I'm glad to see them again. I'll need these to wear on the boat. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were going for a walk. Ouch, said Jim. What's wrong, said Rosie. My foot hurts, said Jim. You must have a stone in your shoe, said Rosie. It feels like a mountain, said Jim, or an elephant. Let's see, said Rosie. It is an elephant, said Jim. What are you doing in my shoe? I didn't know I was in your shoe, said the elephant. It's a very small elephant, said Rosie. It's growing bigger and bigger, said Jim. We'll take it for a walk, said Rosie. But not inside my shoe, said Jim. The elephant soon said, Ouch! What's wrong, said Rosie. My foot hurts, said the elephant. Well, said Rosie, you can't have a stone in your shoe. Elephants don't wear shoes. That's not fair, said the elephant. I want some shoes. It's the stones on the path, said Jim. We'll take her to the shoe shop, said Rosie. At the shoe shop, Rosie and Jim bought a pair of elephant shoes. I want to wear them, said Jim. You'll have to take turns, said Rosie. So they did. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The end.